What's up everyone, my name is Hafo and today we've got uh, just a really short tutorial, really easy one and it's uh, on this effect on optical flares where it comes up with like this little messy screen effect in the corner Oh, I just punched my mic, sorry um, It comes up with like this little messy thing in the corner and I think it looks really nice well, if you use it in the right place, if you use it on a darkish map and you like maybe use it with some twixter it can look really nice so uh, yeah let's get started uh, we're gonna go to oh wait before I start one first of all thank you for a thousand subscribers uh, I really appreciate that and uh, also I would like to say if you want to see if you would like if you like this color correction that I'm using I've already done a tutorial on it uh, and I'll link it in the description it's a Call of Duty 4 one and also yeah that's about it so let's get started I'm just gonna delete my optical flares that I've got up already so as you can see I got the color correction here. And I'm going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Optical Flares. Simple. So then we're going to go Render Mode, and where it says On Black, you're going to change that to Over Original. I'd recommend watching the other tutorial before watching this one, like the Optical Flares one, it'll be a lot easier. And I just usually drag that off the screen somewhere in the corner, or you can... It looks like quite nice next to the kill feed, so... I do that. And then you click Options here, and... Uh, we're going to go and choose our Flare. I like this one I'll show you in a sec but you can choose any and it's under light and it's called blue spark I think that one looks alright and you can just mess around with it see what it looks like um, but this is what I like and now in this little top right corner here you'll see where it says global parameters I just changed my scale to about 140 yeah that'll be fine 140 it makes it all brighter <laughs> and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says texture image under lens texture and change that to messy um, and then you can change the brightness I usually go about 70 no I don't I'll just, oh, right, wait there. Um, sorry illumination illumination radius goes to 70 uh, and that just like means that it doesn't like as you can see it only covers a little section of the screen now and if you turn that up it covers more of the screen so you get what I'm saying and uh, the brightness just depends on obviously how bright you want the the little like the textures to come up I don't think it matters too much 70 is fine I think so uh, if I click OK we can see what it looks like that's not too bad it's slightly bright um, so I'm going to turn it down a bit I'm going to just go one th 120 for scale that'll be fine and just turn my brightness up a slight bit Yeah. That's a lot better, and uh, as you can see, it's just got uh, like this little effect in the corner. And if you wanted, you could like keyframe the brightness so it kind of like goes up and down. Obviously, from like obviously not from too much, so like maybe from like ninety to a hundred, or even ninety-five to a hundred, just so it like only does it very slightly. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I found it useful. Please leave a like and comment on what your next tutorial you'd like to see. Also, that 3D text tutorial, I will be getting it done soon. But as it is a long tutorial, it could be at least two parts. Because it's like, it involves motion tracking and Cinema 4D. Um, yeah, I'll try and get it done soonish. But as I say, it is a long tutorial. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, as I say, please leave a like. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you later.